Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Mean Claw, and I'm actually here at Bloxburg today and I'm showing you guys a video many of you have requested. It's right here you see this sign above my head, Bloxburg Pharmacy. I made that. So I couldn't find a sign that said pharmacy and I certainly couldn't find one that says drugstore. You can't say drugs. Drugs and Roblox do not go together. So, so I've had to make one of my own so that I could have it for the pharmacy. And right here, you can see I have my own pharmacy up above. I even made that sign pharmacy. And then I have a flower shop, Mrs. Claus Flower Shop, right? So I made that as well. They're called decals, and I'm here to show you how to make these. Now, if you guys want me to tour my area here, just let me know in the comments below. I would love to, and if you enjoy this kind of video, I would really love it if you could like and make sure that you are subscribed and hit that notification bell because then I will make more of these kinds of videos. I love to help teach and show you all the little tricks that I've learned over time. So let's go inside also, and I'll show you another one that I made here that has all of the prices on it. A lot of times when you change a picture, if I were to click on that and type in flowers, I don't like the prices that they have for the flowers, right? So I made my own with the prices I wanted, especially because I wrote, we deliver, because you can actually deliver flowers. It's really cool. So guys, let's go ahead and let me show you exactly how to do this. So first of all, what you really need to do is have an editor program of some kind. I'm going to use the free program called paint.net. And you can use that or oftentimes your phone, tablet, PC come with an editing program. You don't need anything fancy. You just need the ability to cut, paste, crop, and write text, okay? And copy, copy and paste pictures. So I have taken a picture here of myself and copied it on uh, this editor program, uh, paint.net, and I did that on layer one. This particular program actually has layers, you know, like uh, layers of a cake or paper on top of paper, okay? And then we will flatten it to all be one page. But it's just, it's just how this editing program works. So I added a second layer and I added these hearts here, if you can see that. And that's because my friend Lisa made this for me for my birthday and she wrote happy birthday there. So I'm covering up her text that says happy birthday and I did that already. Now I want to go ahead and add some text. So in your editor program, you will find wherever the text button is and you just choose a fun text and then we will add it to our picture. Okay, so I've picked my text and it's probably actually too big yes it's huge I don't want it that big um, let's go for 30 and see what we've got there I'm going to write my name mrs. mean claw right and now I can move this around however I like you know what it's really still not big enough so let's fix that and see if we can make it a little bit bigger there we go okay and then I'll change the coloring as well and I'm just using this as an example for the video. Oops. There we go. I can even make it bold. Love it. Okay, so now that I have made this nice little picture here, I am going to flatten it. Go down here and flatten. And now we have this wonderful picture. Then I need to save this file and head on over to Roblox. So I'm going to save it and I'll meet you at Roblox. Okay guys, now we're here on roblox.com. You will need to go where you can click on the create button and you need to go down here to decals. Okay, so you click on the decals. You go right here and you click choose file and we're going to find that Mrs. Mean Claw file. So I've gone to my file here. I've called it a uh, folder blocks, but blocks for decals so you don't have to do any of that fanciness but I'm just showing you that it's saved on my computer and I click open and it's gonna upload it now 
that's all I do click on upload and then Roblox is going to decide great successfully created they had no problem with it wonderful so now I'm going to scroll down you can see some of the pictures that I made here you guys can actually use them if you like these were pictures of flowers that I put in my uh, Bloxburg community here's the uh, Bloxburg and the pharmacy sign here's the coca-cola sign I think if you click on me you can get access to all of that so anyway now what we want to do is I want that mrs. mean claw in I'm gonna add it to my house okay so I click on this picture and I go up here to the um, HTML line okay where you type in websites and I need these numbers right here that is how I'm going to find it. So I want to copy those numbers, and now we're going to head back to Bloxburg, and we're going to add it into my house. Okay, I'm in my bedroom here in my home, and I'm going to change this beautiful Degas picture, the ballet, and we will add. You go up, go right here to the bottom where it says Enter Image ID, and you just paste that number in, and you should have... The picture let's see yippee it worked so now I have a poster in my bedroom of myself a little bit creepy <laughs> I would never do this in real life anyway the point is though you guys now know how to add these really cute decals to your house now if you're needing more specific instructions I don't want to bog people down with details but I'm really happy to answer questions in the comments uh, that you might have regarding making these decals okay i hope that that's been helpful to you let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video really appreciate it and let me know if you want a tour of my home i'd love to give it to you thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it take care bye bye